so much, Murray. And thanks for putting on that recording. And thanks for Alleviate team to create this. And um, we get to gather every Monday, which is fabulous. So it's really beautiful seeing all your faces. And I have so much gratitude for everybody making the time for this as well. Uh, it is an incredibly important time um, to keep on doing really positive things for ourselves. And tonight is in particular around managing stress and anxiety. Um, as we came on, Ian was talking about the idea of, you know, coming out of lockdown and the anxiety that is coming up for some of us as we do that. Uh, some of us haven't been in lockdown as much. However, things are changing and with change and uncertainty, it's always bringing up that anxiety or stress, whether it's perceived or whether it's real, um, our body interprets it in the same way. And so as we begin to look at this meditation, tonight is about healing. It's about giving ourselves that opportunity. And so as we step into it, uh, it's really honoring this time. So thank you all for coming along. When we go into this meditation, um, I wanted to just say a few words around what type of meditation it is. It's a meditation based around imagery. Now, I know for some of you, you may have never meditated before. And for some of you, you've done this meditation before and you're quite familiar with that. But what I want to put in the space initially is that this is an invitation. It's an invitation to explore and be curious, be really curious around um, that imagery. Now, for some imagery can be um, challenging because you're, you're going, I must imagine that there's a tree and, and the sky and the birds and what does it smell like? And, and then you and then it's and then you're finding that. You're, you're struggling to connect with it. Or for some of you, those senses may come alive. You're like, yeah, I can smell the daffodils in the spring and, and the sky and imagery just comes quite naturally. I want to um, just say, go at your pace. There is no right or wrong in this. Imagery is an opportunity to be curious. For some, we can really engage in those senses different senses for, you know, so some may really tap into the sense of smell or the sense of sight. Um, but if you're not connected with all those senses, all I ask is that you imagine what that would look like or feel like. Um, wherever your mind goes in that imagery, allow it, invite yourself to explore and be curious. Uh, I really just want to wanted to say that because I wanted to take that pressure away initially because this type of meditation really works well when you approach it a bit like um, a child's view where you're, you know, you're in awe and you're really curious and excited to see what comes up. So I invite you to come along with me on this imagery in this journey uh, and this meditation. And let's explore. Okay, so some of you are new and welcome. When we move into this meditation, it'll be an opportunity to tap into your posture. So let us begin by settling into our posture. And throughout this meditation, I will take a few extra pauses. It gives you the opportunity to explore and be curious. So if you find that there are a few gaps, uh, just allow yourself to see where you go in that moment. So if you need to, take a few moments to adjust your body. Your back, just as upright as your body is comfortable. And you'll probably find it best to have your feet on the floor, just a little apart, and then you might like to lean back a little and really feel the support in that moment from the back of the chair. The hands resting on the thighs or simply cupped in the lap. Just notice what is comfortable for you. 
Now, for some of you, you may be laying on the floor or sitting in the chair, taking your time to find a position that is really honouring this healing process, this nourishment and this journey and the meditation that you've chosen to engage with this evening. And when you're ready, let your eyes close gently, turning your thoughts inwards. And remember that this is a time where we can use guided imagery for deep relaxation, for regaining our balance and moving gently into stillness. Inviting yourself to a deeper, relaxed body and taking time to gently move into stillness. Beginning with the body and then in time, your mind will also still. Now a gentle reminder to yourself of why are you doing this exercise? Letting go of any effort. We're not striving to make something particular happen. What we're doing in this is being curious and alert as we follow the guidance. Now in your mind's eye, imagine that you are in a beautiful field. And as you walk across the field, feeling the grass soft underfoot. Look around at the trees and hear the wind gently blowing through the leaves. Look up at the sky. Maybe the occasional white cloud drifting by. And feel the sun warmly shining down on your forehead. And as you move forward, you arrive to a beautiful pool surrounded by rocks with a gentle track leading down to a sandy bank. You move down onto the sand. and feel your feet and toes in the sand. At the edge of the water, take off whatever clothes you feel comfortable to leave behind. And when you are ready, enter the water. If you like to swim, swim. If 
If you like to paddle, paddle. And moving through the water, feel it, the way that it's refreshing, vital against your skin and just feeling that water. You might like to dive under the water. Perhaps being curious to see what's under there. Feeling the freedom of that movement. You might like to throw some water up into the sunshine and see the sunlight sparkle in the drops. So subtle, yet tuning in to throwing water up into the sunshine and see the sunlight sparkle in every drop. Watch and hear the drops as they splash back into the pool. Moving through the water, you look ahead and see a waterfall. You move towards it. And move on under it, exploring and seeing all around it what's underneath. Feel the water tumbling down upon your shoulders. Refreshing. Invigorating. And cleansing. What else are you feeling in this moment? Connecting with the water and the waterfall in this way. Curiously exploring those sensations. The water feeling like it is passing right through you, washing away anything that's unwanted, perhaps any tired energy, anything old, or well, that's really not wanted, not desired. Allowing it to wash away.
And as it begins to wash over you, feeling more refreshed and vital, resting in that feeling of feeling more refreshed in this moment, allowing the water to wash away and to invigorate you. Passing behind the waterfall now, you see what looks to be like a cave in the rock. You move a little closer and you see that it is a cave in the rock. It looks inviting. It's safe. So you decide to enter into it. You see what appears to be a tunnel. It is dark, but again, it is inviting and you decide to move into it. As you move in, it becomes darker and darker. Then you see a light in the distance. As you move towards it, the light gets brighter and brighter and brighter until you emerge into the full light of day. And again, that sun shining down brightly, warming you, feeling the sense of that sun just shining on you and filling you up with warmth. And there in front of you, you see a green grotto surrounded by palms, ferns, luxurious green trees of all sorts. And in the middle, a grassy, cleared patch with a bench. And on that bench, a towel and fresh clothes. Feeling invigorated after being in the water and washing away things that you didn't need. And then you step further into walking towards the steps of that grassy patch at the bottom of those steps. And when you arrive, you take up one of the towels. You feel it soft and fresh against your skin the towel resting on your cheek. Maybe the towel even has a certain scent. It 
when you decide to dry yourself, put on some clean clothes and noticing the feeling of the freshness of the new clothes that are there for you. The smells. The crispness of the clothes. The material. Observe what else you can notice about those clothes and the sensations as you are putting on those clothes. And then make your way on across the grass and there is a small track leading through the undergrowth. It winds around a little. And as you move forward, you emerge into a beautiful forest. Observing that forest completely. Your eyes so open with curiosity and awe. The forest is filled with tall and stately trees rising up into the sky above. A canopy of leaves and sunlight gently filtering on down. basking in that forest. That forest healing and nourishing every bit of you. Allow yourself to take a deeper breath in, really sensing that forest and the smells that are around, embodying that as you breathe in deeply. And as you look around, you notice a tree one that you're particularly drawn to. So make your way across to that tree and then when you're there you might like to lean up against it with your back resting against the tree Allowing nature to nourish and support you. Or perhaps you'd rather face the tree and wrap your arms around it, hugging the tree. You can feel its strength. And you can imagine its roots reaching down deeply into the ground. Almost as if your own legs are extending 
down into the earth like the roots of the tree. Taking a moment to rest alongside the tree. It's almost as if you are spreading out like the roots of the tree into the earth below you, drawing up the earth's energies, feeling the strength and warmth of Mother Earth rising up into your body. Finding yourself surrendering and letting go in this moment. And inviting further nourishment and curiosity. What else do you notice about this tree? You could imagine that your arms and fingers are rising up like the branches of the tree, radiating out into the sky above you, drawing down the energy of the sky and the sun, feeling those energies flowing down into you from above. coming together with the earth's energies, rising up from below, a combining, a coming together, an integration, a true sense of oneness. Just letting yourself go into that feeling. so effortlessly. Just flowing and resting. The energies of the earth merging with the spirit from the sky, coming together. Melting. Merging. A oneness. So easy, just feeling the ease of it all, going with it and truly letting go in this moment, allowing nature to heal and connect. Rest quietly now in this feeling Allowing the feeling to embody, to nourish, resting quietly.
resting quietly. At any stage, you notice your mind wandering or becoming distracted. That's okay. Noticing when that happens and gently bringing your attention back to being in that forest, to connecting with nature. Um, Noticing the feeling of letting go. Relaxing. Releasing. Merging. melting dissolving Feeling a sense of oneness once again and simply resting in that stillness now for a little while. Resting. quite effortlessly. Letting go. The invitation now is to bring more awareness back to your body. Perhaps taking a somewhat deeper breath or two to really bring more awareness to your body, sitting in the chair or laying on the ground. Breathing in deeper and noticing the way that your breath moves your body slightly different, your chest, your abdomen, really connecting with your body. As we begin to approach the end, you might like to move your feet a little. Move your hands a little. And then when you're ready, just letting your eyes 
gently open again. Maybe you want to just sit here quietly for a little while before moving off. But the invitation is to deeply connect with your body, moving your body ever so slightly to bring more awareness and gently opening your eyes, bringing this meditation to a close. Meditation of healing, and managing stress and anxiety, using nature and imagery to heal you this evening. Ah, it was so um, lovely to be able to share this meditation with you all. Um, I hope you were able to imagine and go to some beautiful forest and I wish that I could see all of them. Um, that you were all immersed in. Uh, I trust it was beautiful. So trusting that healing journey um, and one that we particularly all need in this um, very moment. So thank you for coming along. Um, again, we'll be doing these uh, next week on Monday um, and it was such a joy. So thank you all for your time and participating. <laughs>